Hello again. Um, we're going to do a bit of cooking today, and we've got to go through a few basic rules of cooking first, especially for men. The first rule of cooking is, before you go into any kitchen, any kitchen, you must first have a big bottle of beer and an empty glass. And then the, the, the rule of thumb is, especially when it's summer girl, on a sunny day, or it's day, is... It's all about cooking. It's all about cooking. That's like a German point. Now we can begin. Okay, we found our way into the kitchen. I needed a map, as you do. Um, so now, got your beer, which you need, as we've been through. Right, we're going to cook tortilla. Spanish omelette tortilla and what you need is half an onion this is for sort of it's not for one, two, three people it's, it's a tortilla you'll see as we go along half an onion some potatoes you probably need if they're this sort of size you probably need I don't know four or five of those about four perhaps maybe five six eggs they're eggs. Eggs is eggs. Some olive oil. Nice olive oil. Spanish olive oil is excellent. Um, beer. I think we did beer. Might have done beer. Um, black pepper. Salt. And uh, I think that's basically the ingredients. Oh, and milk. We need some milk. I left the milk in the fridge because it's warm here and we're in Spain and it's warm and it'll go off, so we're not going to lose that. You're going to need a bowl. Uh, you're going to need a plate. A sharp knife. A wooden spatula and a whisk. And then, the main thing you're going to really need, you're going to need two frying pans. This is, these, are, this is, these are sort of classed as tortilla pans, basically because they're high-sided. If you see that. It's got a high side on it, and you'll see how that works as we cook it. But you'll need two frying pans. So, let's make a start. Okay, we've got our onion, half an onion, sharp knife, and a chopping board. We need to cut the onion up, and basically what we're going to do is dice it. You take your potato, peel it, you might have a peeler, you might not. If you haven't got a peeler, again, use a sharp knife, and just peel your potato. We've got the peeled potato, and what we're doing, again, is just dicing this up. I'm not a professional chef. Don't all start moaning about how I cut stuff up. It's just, I don't do this for a living, I do this for fun. But then basically what we're doing is we're just dicing up into small pieces a peeled potato. So, again, beer. Delicious. Chopped potatoes. I actually use five. So there's five chopped potatoes peeled and chopped, and half an onion. All nice. It smells. I love the smell of onion. That is there. So we'll move on now, and now we fry it all up. Okay, our pan. We put our heat on on this. I like gas, but this is electric. That's a, that's a scary top because that's spring loaded. But anyway, we put a bit of olive oil into the pan. We take our chopped potato, put the pan on the heat, wooden spatula. I don't know if you need to do this, but I'm not a professional chef. So if you're a professional chef and you're moaning, fuck off. I'll bleep that. Uh, right. So then, put all your little chopped, peeled, and uh, cheapest chips. Potato in. Don't worry if it goes on the floor. If you've got a girlfriend, she'll clean it up. If you've got a mum, she'll clean it up. If you've got a wife, she'll moan like fuck. And what we do, we've got that on full heat now, but you don't leave it on full heat. We turn that down on this 
base aged nonsense cooker which is supposed to anyway you turn the heat down you turn the heat down shadow went all over me you turn the heat down don't cook it on full heat turn it down and we're going to cook these until they're nice and golden brown we've got our, what we, we prepared earlier we've got our onions in they go Okay, uh, the onions are ready, and the diced potato is absolutely ready. Okay, now we get our eggs, put our eggs, ooh, and the shell, preferably not the shell, into a bowl. For this tortilla, I'm using uh, six eggs. You need some black pepper, obviously this is to, to taste uh, I just hammer it so I like pepper and then you've got your salt a bit of salt a bit of salt that's about enough I think right and then milk. Put our milk in. Ooh. I can't tell you weights and measures because I don't know what they are. And then we whisk this bad boy. Oh, that'd be so wrong, wouldn't it? Anyway, put your onions into now your egg and your milk and your black uh, pepper and your salt. You need that. Now put your. You won't need that. Oh, these are delicious. Put these in your potato. Your diced, lovely, beautiful, smelling, un unbelievable. Into there. Right. We're in. We mix. Oh, it's going to get really exciting soon. This ain't it. This ain't it. It's when you turn it over. That's the exciting bit. That's the scary bit. That's the scary bit. When you turn this bad boy over, and then we pour. And we begin the real task of the Spanish omelette. What you have to do is you have to pull down just the edges, just the edges now. We need this, this uh, omelette to, to take. So we pull down the edges, if it needs a little tip in, tip it in. Let it, let it take, but if, where it's hot, just pull that in. We need to soak up as much of this juice as we can. Because when we turn this over, if it's all runny, there's going to be an accident. So what we're doing, we've got a bit of moisture in there now, but we're ready to turn it. This we're is ready. the way I do it. We take a plate, we put it on top of the pan. Just turn it over, be confident. Don't be wimpish, be confident. Now that's a tortilla, but it's not finished. So what we need to do now, is just pour that back into the pan. I'm no chef, I'm not a professional chef. And put that back on the heat. Okay, we've cooked this side. Now we're gonna turn it over. And hopefully what we've got is a nice cooked other side. There you go. And that to me is a really nice Spanish omelette. A tortilla. Ryan, that's for you mate. I hope you well, I hope you do try it and I hope you leave a, a little note and it went all, it, it went well. <laughs> oh but don't forget lads. Never forget your